Hi gang, that was nuts. The tunnel was a big hurdle, but it's not even the 50 yard line. What I need now is a drive shaft, and if you remember the drive shaft series that I did with Robert Baxley, this one may already be familiar to you. This is my Colts drive shaft. We shot a series of footage that turned out horribly. Since we were done with the job when we discovered it and didn't feel like taking it all back apart again, we used my Colts drive shaft to reshoot that section and fix the video sequence. It made for a better quality video. It was a worthy sacrifice looking back at what I uploaded. But I'm going to have to put this drive shaft back together with junk parts first so I can get all my measurements straight. I have to get the carrier bearings welded in here first to see where the front shaft lines up. I intend to rebuild it last, after it's shortened and before its final installation. My goal is to get a part that I can carry to a drive shaft shop with a measurement of what I want cut out, welded and balanced. In the previous Colt video you saw me carefully extract this chunk of metal from the Gallant tunnel using this weird drill bit. This is a spot weld cutting drill bit. You'll see it has a spring loaded point to keep it centered and this jagged cutting wheel that you use to cut through one layer and release the spot weld. It's reversible so it's like two bits in one, but I always keep a spare. It's very handy as you've seen and will continue to see. I removed this chunk because it wasn't in the right place. I carefully saved it because it makes my job very easy now. I'll have to change its shape a little, but I'll get to weld the factory carrier bearing mounts in to make this a clean bolt-in install. It's all about the fit. Kind of like how the emergency brake install went. Speaking of the e-brake, I'll need to maintain clearance for those e-brake cables, no matter where this is oriented underneath. I really hope that lines up well. Probably not, but we'll see. I also have to cut this other carrier bearing mount out of what's left of the Gallant tunnel. There are some filthy sections on the Colt that I'm not looking forward to cleaning, and only a few steps left to get these carrier bearings installed, so I'm going to get to work. Ladies and gentlemen, a man of the hour. Funky Bottoms here, what's up? Oh, it's my man Funky Bottoms. Hey, what's, what's poppin', y'all? It's all good? Yeah, everybody's smiling. Yeah, I love it. Ah, yeah, he's a bad dude, man. I'm telling you, man. Word. Ha! Oh, your man. Funky Bottoms. Funky Bottoms. When it comes to the underground, I got him. I'm still here like always. You know, I work hard, man. I'm a hardworking man, man. You know, I work hard and it's rough, but I make it happen. I'm telling you, man. Listen. Yo, but this I, I'm telling you, I got some new joint. Woo, it's, it's banging, baby. Oh, yeah? Listen, man. Ow. That was my foot. That was a mistake. I'm telling you, this new thing I got right here, it's a killer. It's a killer. We doing the video shoot today. All right. You know it's gonna be women. It's like that. It's like that, baby. Hey, listen, I'm Funky Bottoms. I'm off the bus now, man. I got a lot of things cranking. Man, I got some paper behind me, man. It's going down. I've been in this game for years, man. Nobody gonna try to play me, man. Listen, this is Funky Bottoms right here.